story there. People look forward to the fireworks celebrations, but our furry friends aren't exactly the biggest fans of the loud noise. News 13's Kelly Grossfield tells us how to keep your pet safe during. Yeah, what about what about fucking what about fucking people are sick and tired of boom cars? But when pets hear these loud booms, they aren't as excited as we are. Anything that will step out of the normal for the pets will kind of make them run away from home and want to just keep them safe. Holidays known for shooting off fireworks like the 4th of July and New Year's Eve are also known for frightening our pets. It's common for pets to disappear when fireworks are going off, so you might want to pay a little extra attention to your furry friend this holiday. Because if you go missing, you want to make sure you know where your pet is. If you have an outside pet, you can be outside with them, you can keep an eye on them, have them um, with you if you have a leash with them, or bring them inside is the best option for them. Taking your pet to an area where there aren't fireworks is the ideal situation, but that's not always possible. However, there are some home remedies to calm your pet. I think some music or TV, just to make the tracks not the noise, put them in a quiet area that might be a little bit darker also. Um, whatever you make that comfort for the pet. Along with distraction, there are medications and accessories made especially for these little guys. In Bay County, Kelly Grossfield, News 13. Now, if your pet does go missing on the 4th, make sure you call Bay County Animal Services and file a lost pet report. You can even submit it with a picture, and they will do their best to help find your furry friend. We're back in a moment. Sports is coming up. Ah. Let's talk about these fucking boom cars, okay? Funny, they're, 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 they're so concerned about the pets, but they don't give a shit about the, uh, the grown-ups, uh, the people that happen to uh, want to be in living peace or something like that. They don't give a shit about them. But, but, look, look at this right here. Okay? See this right here? I'm hoping that you can see this right here. Look at this right here, okay? See this right here? I created this a long time ago. Okay? About boom cars. Okay? See it right there? These are American terrorists, these motherfuckers right here. I have created this thing many, many years ago. Passed them out. Trying to do my part. See, the old-fashioned uh, radios didn't have those, uh, they didn't have the ability to separate the highs from the lows. Well, when they came out with these boom car punk motherfuckers, see this right here? See that right there? So what they did is they, they created a great big amp, and they separated the frequencies, okay? So that's, that's what caused, if you can't separate the frequencies, it's going to be, what it is, is a, it's a pure tone of bass, okay? I passed out hundreds of these flyers right here. See that right there? Funny, uh, disgusting. They're only concerned about um, pets suffering, but not humans. What the fuck is going on? Now this is something. This is something right here. That I created many, many years ago. Is that right there? Mary M. Johnson was suffering be because of these boom car punk motherfuckers, and there was a club called Thunderbirds. Look at this fucking clown right here, Jeb Bush, Florida. Look at this right here. Office of the Florida Government, it is now 2017 right now, okay? July 2017, July 3rd, 2017. Look at this. The Capitol. Okay, look at this right here. See this right here? Dear Mrs. Johnson, thank you for your letter. She's fuck you. That's what he's saying. Regarding the loud music. Ain't loud music. It's fucking goddamn boom car punk motherfuckers. Ain't no loud music being played. That's the way they cover up that fucking shit. Being played in your neighborhood. I am sorry, you fucking lying motherfucker. 
I am sorry to learn of your situation. Ha, ha, ha. I understand your frustration. Oh, really? You lying motherfucker. You, Chapter 14 of Florida Statutes, your duty to, you can call it the military, motherfuckers. As you know, your local law enforcement agency is responsible for investigating, but what if they're covering it up? You're fucked. Okay, what, what, if, they, what if they're the drug dealers for the cops? For the disturbance of the peace complaints. 877 of the Florida Statutes, the Panama City idiot fucking cops can arrest these motherfuckers. In an effort to assist you, I am forwarding your correspondence to... Please, Chief J.B. Holloway, I am sure someone from his office will contact you directly. As you know, our government is structured on the notion that local communities can best assist in the needs of the residents. And now you're telling me, you fucking clown governor, you ain't fucking needed. You just talked yourself out of a job. I urge you to work with your locally elected officials. Let's see. Back when Jimmy Petronas was running for uh, to become state representative 2008, I fucking gave him this flyer right here. He said, what are you, a lawyer? I said, no, I'm just somebody who cares. Okay? He didn't do a motherfucking thing about it. See that right there? Okay? Yeah, Jimmy Petronas, now he's become... Chief Financial Officer. Uh, so you, now it says here, I urge you, basically saying fuck you, it's not my problem. Work with your locally elected officials. Thank you again for taking time to share our, your concerns with me. Ha, ha, ha. If I can assist you, you lying motherfucker, you wouldn't even help out. With other issues of concern, please let me know. I did, he, he did a fucking convenient lie under, he did perjury on grade 37 of the Florida statutes. See, this fucking clown right here? Sincerely, Jeb Bush, he's a lying motherfucker. See, he's right here. Now, l let me show you how stupid this motherfucker is. Notice where it says Panama City, Florida, Okay. What the fuck is this idiot sending it to Panama City Beach? J.B. Holloway. What the fuck's that shit going all about? See, the thing is, this is, um, was it the, um, 20, 20, uh, uh, 2015, June 15, 2015, I had a false idiot fucking clown by the name of Sergeant Stryker put goddamn false charges on me because I was trying to get him to do something about these fucking boom cars. Yeah, mm-hmm. Now let me show you what I put on my fucking door here. This guards my door 24 hours a day. This guards my door 24 hours a day. See that? Cops to sign under perjury. That's right. This is my PDF oath arrest and prosecution that I created. Sadly, I keep a tape. I try to get people to keep tape recorders with them. Their, their attitude is, well, I don't need them. I don't see a need. Well, when you need it, it's too fucking late. See that right there? See that right there? Jim Bike Made Enterprises, 2016. P.O. Box 952, Panama City, Florida. I passed out hundreds of these flyers, probably over a thousand flyers. I've yet to get a phone call from anybody. I mean, I, I've yet to have them write my P.O. Box. It's there. I give my, I give my email address. No sorry. See? Look at this right here. See, this is my only drug right there. My guitar, that's it. So, see the thing is this is? These, these boom cars? They're American terrorists. See the thing is this is though? 
when we Americans can't decide who's a fucking terror star, we're, we're fucked. See that right there? Anybody can download this. So, I find it, I find it awfully fucking interesting. They're, they're more concerned, they're more concerned about loud noises affecting dogs and cats, but fuck the humans. Now, why would that be? They don't give a shit about the humans? Why not? I have I have in Panama City, Florida, over ten years. I have tried my damnedest. I got thrown in jail by the Bay County Sheriff's Department. Lauren Bernicki of the uh, who used to be in the uh, prosecuting office, I think, is the uh, uh, a, a relative of uh, Greg Bernicki, dropped the charges when I tried my damnedest to force a jury trial on these boom cars. But you see, they knew, see, the, the public pretenders know that if you're going to beat that case or you have a possibility of bringing this case to where the news media might cover it and fuck them up real good, the, the, the uh, public pretending motherfuckers, they drop the fucking charges. That's what the fuck goes on. Look at this right here. See, just look at this. Look at this fucking shit right here. Look at this fucking shit. Lying motherfucker. See that? April 11, 2011. I'm sure this is the only copy that's left. But see, this, this dumb motherfucker was going to run for president, and he couldn't even take care of a fucking problem where somebody wrote a letter to him? Begging him to do something about these fucking boom car punks? These American terrorist motherfuckers. So, anyway, uh, I thank my maker that my maker's given me a mouth. And when I see things that are far worse than my inequities and my shortcomings, then uh, I, it is my moral duty. Because if I don't open my mouth, then, then I'm part of the problem. If I didn't voice anything about the problem of it. There's so many felonies against these boom car punks, motherfuckers. They can arrest them under the 3015 of Florida statutes. The, the governor, the um, sheriff can arrest anywhere in Florida. They can arrest them under 87703, which is the Panama City idiot fucking clowns. They can arrest them under uh, a terror statute, 876. They can arrest them under... Putting Amazon Fire Department people in danger under 80610 of the Florida statutes.